my god, it's so hot! Boob sweat. Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna do the 2019 edition of the Meet Your Book Freak Out Tag. The Meet Your Book Freak Out Tag is basically a tag with lots of questions that have to do with your reading until so far, until the middle of 2019 because half of the year is already over. I have all the books for these questions standing here next to me. It's quite um. A big pile. Okay, so question number one is what is the best book you've read until so far in 2019? This is a really difficult question because luckily 2019 has been a really really good reading year for me. I wanted to say month reading year. I've had multiple books which I've given like five stars and it's just absolutely insane. So it's really difficult to make like a decision because all of these books have different like aspects in them which I really really liked. It's really funny. I got to the idea again to film this video because I saw Brit from Basically Brit making this video has uploaded it to her channel and then I was like shit I need to make this video as well and she mentioned one book which I will probably mention a couple times in this video as well. I don't think it's my favorite but I have so many others. I think, I'm not too sure but I think the best book that I've read until so far this year is Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. This is a YA book all about friendship, feminism, and especially mental health because our main character has been diagnosed with OCD and we follow her through her journey that she's going to college, so she's going to a new school, trying to make new friends while also trying to decline the amount of medicine that she's taking for her OCD. She wants to become as normal as possible and you follow her journey through this book and I enjoyed every single aspect of this. Like, I cannot point out one thing that I didn't like. It is so, so good. But if you guys want to see all the other books that I rated five stars as well, go check out my Goodreads. Um, you will also stay up to date with what I'm currently reading and my thoughts on everything. So yes, I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to all of my social media pages are in the description box down below. But I think... I'm gonna have to say this one, that this is my fave, but I don't know, so difficult. Next up, I have the best sequel you've read so far in 2019, and it's not this book, because this is the first book. It is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, but the sequel, which is called The Vanishing Stair, this was such an unexpected but super pleasant read about a boarding school and a murder, and there has been a murder in the past, and a current student of this boarding school is trying to figure out who was the murderer in this murder case back in like the 30s and you get flashbacks between then and now. I, uh, I absolutely adore the first two books in this trilogy and the third book is coming out in January and I just, I want to devour it. I want to read it. I've probably forgotten so many of the details but I'm gonna do like a recap before the third book comes out. So question number three is a new release that you really want to read and for this one I have A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. Bridget Kemmer, I think is how I pronounce her name. I got this book in my fairy loot box and it is so gorgeous with the holographic printing on it. It is a modern retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Says that on the sticker. Oh hell yeah. I've heard so many amazing things about this book but I feel like I'm gonna read it a little bit like later in the year because the sequel is gonna come out at the beginning of next year and I want to like have the details a little bit fresh in my mind. Question number four, the most anticipated release for the second half of the year and that one is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black which is the third book in The Cruel Prince trilogy and the sequel to The Wicked King. Um, this book came out in January I believe and at first the third book like release date was January 2020 but it got pushed like to the front. I don't know how you say that. It didn't get pushed back. The opposite of that. Um, it's now releasing November 19th and I'm so excited because I was already like the cover is out, the synopsis is out. I feel like this whole book is actually already like published but they're just waiting for it to be released. But now it's coming out earlier and I'm so excited and so happy. Number five is my biggest disappointment and I feel like a fourth of the new subscribers that I've gained are coming from this video. So this is my biggest disappointment and you all probably know all the reasons for it but if you don't I will leave a link to the video right here up on the screen but I won't talk about it in this video so 
let's move on. Question number six, my biggest surprise. I do like to talk about the positive things in my life. So the biggest surprise I think is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as usual because it is a new adult slash adult book and I always get kind of nervous when I'm starting a book like that because even though I'm 20 I still don't feel like an adult and that probably will never happen. But this is a book set in the 1970s, 1960s kind of. It's like about how Daisy Jones and this band called The Six came together and formed a new band and eventually how they broke up and the story is being told in like interview style with like all of these characters. The characters are really complex but like so realistic and the story is just heart-wrenching and it made me cry and it was just so good. And I was kind of like doubting if this was maybe my favorite book of the year but I just uh, I don't know. Number seven is my new favorite author which I think is just too difficult to say because I mean I have discovered a lot of new authors but I haven't read a ton of their books ever since I read the first book that I read by them. But I do have a feeling that I will enjoy a lot of Holly Bournes' books but I've only read one until so far so I don't really have an answer for that question. Question number eight newest crush and even though this book was a disappointment for me I really loved the love interest the unexpected everything by Morgan Matson and our love interest is Clark oh he's so cute he's just so adorable a really cute guy he is an author he's super thoughtful all guys should be like him I'm lucky I have Tim but I mean if Tim ditched me I would go for Clark but please don't ditch me Tim please <laughs> number nine newest favorite character I was kind of thinking about Daisy from Daisy Jones and the Six because she's such a whimsical creative girl but she is very chaotic and then when I saw Brit's video she said her favorite was Karen and I totally agreed with Brit. Karen is one of the band members too of the Six and she is such a strong independent woman. I, I want to be friends with her man so thanks Brit for bringing me to that idea as well so definitely Karen from Daisy Jones and the Six. Next up a book that made you cry and I've had again multiple books with this one but I'm picking Am I Normal Yet 2 for this. There is this scene at the end. It's not really a super big spoiler for the plot but if you want to know absolutely nothing then stop listening and watch for the next question. But at the end of this book the sister of our main character tells her that she's been bullied through the internet for like a really long time and that it's been so 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 bad and this girl is like 12 and oh my god it just uh, made me feel so incredibly like sad and it's so messed up that she was keeping it a secret because she just didn't want to bother her sister who has OCD it just made me feel like oh uh, she was such a wise little sister and then she got bullied and just made me feel sad so I had to cry. Next up a book that made you very happy and for this one I definitely have A Girl Called Shameless by Laura Steven. This is the sequel to The Exact Opposite of Okay which was my favorite book of last year and this one I didn't find it as good as The Exact Opposite of Okay but it was still really really good and it made me so happy because Izzy our main character oh my god her jokes and her comments are absolutely amazing so Laura Steven is definitely an auto buy author for me. She just came out with a middle grade novel which I definitely still need to check out but all of the jokes this book deals with such an important topic which is feminism and how girls get treated in the world of today and how it's still so messed up but the jokes that are being made by Izzy they are just outright hilarious. I've shown all of my friends all these jokes so many times and they're just like what the fuck is this? It's so witty it's so good and I, ah, I want to give this book like a big hug. Question number 12 the most beautiful book that you bought slash received. This question is again so difficult but I don't have that many like super 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 pretty books that I received or like bought this year except for these two and I don't know which one I should pick. So first of all The Wicked King because I just love the whole water crown and it's like you know the shine it's really pretty so loving that one but I also love A Curse So Dark and Lonely because of like so holographic. So yeah, gonna say either one of those two. And the last question, name books you have to read by the end of the year. I mean, honey, look at my shelves, like all of these. No, but two books which I'm definitely planning on reading. The first one is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This book came out two years ago and it has won like so many awards and it's such an impactful book about like African-American culture and like all these, you know, cops shooting them back in the US because that's still a problem today. But now I'm gonna read it for the basically 
Brit like her readathon. I don't know, was it the basically readathon? I don't know what it was called again. But it's a 24 hour readathon, and the only rule is to read a book that has been on your shelf for such a long time. And this one is just something that I need to absolutely read. And the other book is. <sighs> I pre ordered this book when it came out two years ago because I was like, yes, I'm gonna read it. And, uh, and I really meant to do it, but I was rereading the second book. So my plan is still to reread the second book while I'm on vacation in France. And then Her Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. I mean, I have started both of her series. I'm gonna reread A Court of Mist and Fury, and then I'm gonna read A Court of Wings and Ruin. And then I have finished one of Sarah J Mass's series. Whoa, okay, so that was my mid-year book freak out tag for 2019. I always love doing this video, so watch out for next year because I'll be there, baby, yes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. Like I said, social media pages are in the description bar down as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.